Hello, folks. This is uh, Father Chris from Sacred Heart Church here in West Des Moines, Iowa. I wanted to take a moment just to speak directly to our parishioners uh, during this time. I want to thank you, first of all, for your, your prayers, your prayerful support for, for me and for one another. Uh, it means more than words can say. And your patience. Who could have imagined less than two weeks ago that we would uh, be told that we cannot gather for Sunday Mass and we need to shelter in place and begin this social distancing uh, to be safe and to be healthy. So I thank you for your patience as we try to figure this out as we all kind of make this up as we go along to do the best that we can. So I want to, again, speak words of gratitude to you but I also turn to you today asking for your support. We looked at our, our financial numbers going forward at the end of April. We will probably be down $74,000. That's going to be hard to, to, to do the work that we do. We're doing everything we can, looking top to bottom, A to Z, on what we are doing financially to trim the fat out of our our budget to eliminate all the non-essential things for the short term and looking at the long term uh, budget as well. But we need your support. And I know you are supportive, supportive. You are so generous as a people here at Sacred Heart. I've seen that time and time again. At this time, because we cannot gather uh, as a community around the altar of the Lord, we need to find new ways to give particularly financially. I invite you to think about three ways to give. I invite you to go to our website, find the giving tab, and click on that and find ways that you can give. You can make a, a credit card or a debit card uh, a gift. You can make a, a set up a, a regular, if you're not regular in your ACH, you can make a, a regular uh, tithing commitment uh, online. If you're one who likes to have that physical uh, envelope and be able to put it in the basket every Sunday, but you can't do that now, we do we need you to, we do invite you to send that in via the mail. You can even come by the office during our limited office hours uh, from 8 to noon. If the office is closed, you can put it in the mail slot on the south side of our office uh, entrance. The south entrance has a, a mail slot, you can put that in. So. Those are simple ways to be able to continue to give and to support the good work of our parish community because that good work continues. Our uh, school has uh, begun this distant learning uh, process, still learning our way into that, but I believe it's uh, a, a way for us to continue uh, forming and educating your children. Our uh, CFF uh, staff is working uh, behind the scenes to continue uh, offering faith formation to uh, our, our students through our catechists. Even though we've had to postpone First Communion because of the coronavirus, we're still working to plan that great event when we have it, uh, whenever we're able to have it in the future. Uh, we're looking at all the ways that we can continue to be ministering to you, support you throughout this time. So I do ask you to tell us, to call us, to email us, to let us know how we can be supportive of you and invite you to be creative on how you can be supportive of us. We as a community need to pull together in a very real way to be creative in how we minister to one another, how we minister to those beyond our parish community. So I've said it you know, many, many times to you, thank you for your generosity. I know we are in a difficult time. There's lots of uncertainty for health and for economic reasons, we're, we're worried, we're concerned, and I know that, I feel it as well. But I know we as a parish community will get through this. We will come together and be ever stronger because of this, and we will uh, allow the faith of our community to shine forth, uh, to be truly those active apostles in our world. So let us continue to pray for one another. Let us continue to support one another in the work that we do as a community of faith, that we pull together to be ever more of the body of Christ. I know that we long to gather around this altar once again, and I long for that too. 
So let us pray for that day. Let us pray for God's healing grace to be poured out upon us. I'd like to conclude with a prayer for uh, healing for particularly those who have been directly impacted by the coronavirus, that God's healing grace may be poured out upon us and upon our world. We pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Loving God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to heal the sick. We ask you to come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus crisis, that we too may experience your healing love. We ask you to heal those who are sick, calm those who are living in fear, be with those who have died, and comfort their families. Inspire health care professionals to aid them in their healing work. Guide national and local leaders to make decisions with wisdom. Help us always to be aware of your presence as we place our trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be safe, be healthy, and may God bless each one of you.